Hey, I'm Hester and welcome to A Handmade Home. And today I'm gonna to show you a different way of carving a pumpkin. Don't hate me for this, but I don't really decorate for the holidays. I might do a few things come Christmas time, but for Halloween, I don't really do many decorations. Maybe it's because I'm in the UK and here in Europe, it's not such a big thing as it is in America. But then I got an email from Ryobi and they asked if I can join them in that pumpkin challenge. And I asked if I could use one of the tools from the OnePlus range to carve a pumpkin. And as you know, I love my Ryobi tools. They keep popping up in all the tutorials I post here on the website. So of course I couldn't let them down. So have a look at how I use two of my favorite Ryobi tools to carve these pumpkins. Well, I'm saying carving, but if you know me, you know I like doing something a bit more unusual, a bit more simplistic. So for this tutorial, you need your drill driver and a glue gun. And we're gonna start with a pumpkin and use the glue gun. You're gonna take a sharpie and you're gonna draw on the design you wanna do. I wrote boo on one of the sides and the other side is gonna get a scary face. And then with my glue gun, I'm just gonna trace the design. Don't do it too thick in the beginning. It's better to do one layer and then when it's dry, put a second layer on top. And when you're done tracing, use the tip of your scissors to get rid of all little glue hairs that might appear in between your letters. As you can see, we have boo on one side now and a bit of a scary face on the other side. And we're gonna leave this pumpkin be for what it is and we're gonna move on to the next one. And for the next pumpkin, you need your drill driver and two flat drill pieces, one of 16 millimeters and one of 22 millimeters. And we're gonna start with a 16 millimeter one. Hold your pumpkin steady and just simply drill holes in your pumpkin. It's that simple. Just do them in random spots, wherever you think it needs a hole, drill a little 16 millimeter hole. And when you're done with the little holes, move on to the 22 millimeter drill piece and drill more holes just exactly where you want them. So your pumpkin sort of end up looking a bit like this and then you're just going to carve it the way you used to. Just cut the top out and scoop all the flesh out of the pumpkin. Might make a nice pumpkin soup for this evening. And with both your pumpkins prepped, it's time to take them outside for the final makeover. And I taped off the stalk because I like keeping this a normal colour, as I'm gonna spray the rest in this Rustalia metallic spray paint in chrome. So simply give it a light spray of the paint, and as you can see, I'm using a paper box just to keep uh, my table clean. And I'm gonna lift this one out of the way and put the second pumpkin in. And for this one, the same, just give it a light coating of the chrome spray paint. Let the paint dry for 20 minutes, have a look if it needs an extra coat, maybe you missed a few spots or you just want to give it a second coat for a more intense colour. Let the paint dry for another half hour and your pumpkins are ready to be used. So two pumpkins with a bit of a difference. I love how the silver looks in them because the silver just reflects all the light I have in the house and in the evening it's really nice because it picks up all the little candles I have around the house. Because one of them of course doesn't have a light inside, it's just more a decorative object. But the one with the holes I put an LED light in because it's so much more safer than having a real candle inside your lantern. So I'm really curious what you're going to do with your pumpkins this year. Are you going to do the traditional carving like a jack-o'-lantern or are you going to do something more fun like a silver mirrored pumpkin? If you make one of these pumpkins, I would love to see them and please hashtag them online with the hashtag MyHestersHandmadeHome. All the makes you make from my website are the videos you can post using the hashtag and I would love to see your makes. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a big thumbs up and have a look on my website HestersHandmadeHome.com for more craft ideas for your home. I'll be back next week with a new video. Hope to see you then.